Um, so we use uh, Botox um, for the treatment of piriformis muscle syndrome. Uh, piriformis muscle syndrome, the piriformis muscle is a, is a small muscle essentially in the middle of the buttock. Um, it's a relatively rare condition, um, but it is a condition associated with sciatica, which is pain radiating down the leg in the absence of back pain. That's the classical definition of it. Um, patients with piriformis uh, syndrome uh, can be caused by many things, uh, particularly runners, cyclists, people that have had sort of stretching accidents in the area, weightlifting accidents, that sort of thing. Um, mostly the patients can be treated conservatively, especially with physiotherapy, stretching exercises, anti-inflammatories, that sort of thing. But where that's failed, um, we do have a very simple, safe technique uh, to help treat piriformis syndrome. Um, patient comes in uh, to clinic. Uh, it can be done as a walk-in, walk-out procedure under local anaesthesia. Uh, we identify the piriformis muscle. Um, we draw little circles to make sure we know wh where we want to go. The area is thoroughly cleaned and disinfected. A little bit of local anaesthetic is put in the skin and then we put a tiny, tiny little needle down to the piriformis muscle. Um, we use a nerve stimulator, uh, which actually when it touches the piriformis, um, makes the piriformis muscle contract or twitch. Uh, and it has a very characteristic uh, type of twitch pattern, which you can see. Um, once we've identified it as accurately as possible, um, essentially we uh, inject a small amount of long-acting local anaesthetic mixed with uh, Botox. Usually we inject about four to five um, areas of the muscle uh, and what we're trying to do is the Botox we're using to try and relax um, areas of the muscle out so overall it will essentially stretch out a little bit more. The way that helps the um, leg pain is that by stretching out the piriformis muscle and relaxing it the sciatic nerve behind it uh, will uh, be under less tension, is less likely to be irritated, and you're less likely to have uh, leg pain, essentially. As with all procedures, there are benefits and risks. The benefits of this procedure are pain relief, takes approximately 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. Risks are failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort, they're all minimal. Uh, people get very concerned about the potential uh, damage to the uh, sciatic nerve because the sciatic nerve sits underneath um, the piriformis muscle. In practice, this really is not a big issue. Uh, the reason for that is, first of all, the piriformis muscle has a very specific twitch, so you should certainly be able to um, locate the muscle. Um, and even if you go too far by mistake and you touch the sciatic nerve, what will happen is the, the patient's foot or leg will twitch. If that happens, you withdraw the needle back into the muscle where you then inject. T touching the nerve will not cause any long-term problems or damage to uh, the sciatic nerve. And the reason we know that is that in anaesthetic practice, we use this exact same technique to specifically target the sciatic nerve to anaesthetize it um, for hip operations and that sort of thing. Um, overall, it's a very safe technique. When the procedure has been done, we tend to um, give the patients at least a week or so off, and then we get them to see one of our specialist pain physiotherapists and they will restart their stretching exercises.